Hello and welcome to my another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Um, it's not anything new. We're actually going to recreate the smooth uh, color chasing health bar that I did like ages ago. Uh, I think four years ago. I don't re remember which month or day, but yeah, in 2016. Uh, and and um, Oh, I know way actually better way to do it. Um, I'm pretty sure many others as well know. But anyways, I'm just gonna do it because why not? So I have created the basic third-person template here. I mean, I didn't create it; I just added it basically, or or, or, or I created this project with this third-person template. Um, so I haven't added anything yet here. So I'm gonna start doing what we need to do. So. Uh, inside the content, uh, I'm gonna create a user widget, uh, widget blueprint. I'm gonna need player hot or even like health. I mean, I'm gonna do health, it's fine. Uh, then we're gonna create, um, actually, yeah, we're gonna create a curve. So we're gonna use curves this time. So I'm gonna right click here and go to mis miscellaneous. I don't know, uh, curve. And then we choose curve linear color and select. And I'm gonna call this health colors. And then we're gonna open it. All right, so now, um, how this is gonna work is that we only care about this, uh, basically this line here, zero and one. This is basically the same amount as the progress parse uh, the value, the person itself, from 0 to 1. So this is basically representing it. A 1 means obviously we are in full health and 0 means we are, we don't have health, we are dead. So, um, we can, we can add as many of these as we want, but like, for example, we're gonna focus on the bottom ones because the below one is opacity basically, I think. So, the first one, I'm gonna click here, I'll double click it to open this picker, and I'm gonna make this red. And the first one here on the right side, I mean, the first one, uh, the right side, I'm gonna like, uh, double click, and I'm gonna make this a green. Alright. It looks almost good, I just don't like the middle color here. Um, we can try and actually work on this better, actually, if, uh, on this color, because I don't like this ugly, like, vomit color, whatever that is. So I'm gonna add uh, two up here, one and two. I'm gonna do the same for down here. So now we can start working on this. So the second on the left, I'm gonna make this kind of like dark uh, orange, like let's say 0.33 may be good. And the first one is gonna be like basically light orange or more like yellow-ish. So I'm gonna make it to the yellow side here. I'm gonna make this G in points. Uh, now nah, I'm gonna actually make it yellow-ish. Um, now we have to... Actually, I'm gonna make this orange even more like orange. Like let's say point twenty-five in G. There we go. Now we have to keep them proper times because like uh, I don't want the color be only green when it's at full health. I want it to be a little bit green before it starts going down. So I have to set, I think I have to set both of these. Uh, right, double, not double click, uh, I think, yeah, just right click and time. So time, I'm gonna say this is gonna be like 0.8. Oh, we don't have to move this either. So I don't think this matters actually, these opacities. Now they don't matter, because we, yeah, I think we can do it like this, because we don't care about the opacity. It's not gonna be, yeah, anyways. Uh, so this, the green is 0.8, so the yellow one has to be 0.6. Uh, orange is gonna be 0.4, and the red is gonna be 0.2. So this is how it looks like, and I kind of like, you know, I like this, I like this uh, core, core scheme here. There is this ugly color, just a little bit, not too much. All right, so this is how it's gonna look like. Okay, we can save this and close this for now. 
And now we can go, actually, yeah, I'm gonna go into my player character because I have to make the health and everything first. So I'm gonna open my third person character blueprint here. Uh, we don't care about any of this, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna do quickly something here. Uh, so, variables, and we're gonna need two. One, I'm gonna call this current health, and it's gonna be float. I mean, it can be also integer, but I like to use floats. Then I'm going to create another one, which is just going to call max health. We still need our max health. I mean, yeah, because we have to get the percentage from this. What's the percentage of these two? So I'm going to use keys to test it out. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to use left key. So left. Uh, arrow, left arrow, this one. And I'm gonna use right as well. So these are only about testing, so we can actually test. All right. Uh, left and right. Okay, I'm gonna do the left. Left is for removing health and right is for adding health. So I'm gonna get my current health. Actually, no, we have to set this <laughs> values, default values. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna make both the same. So I'm gonna make this like, uh, 1000, my current health and maximum health also 1000. Now, finally, I'm gonna get my current health here. So I'm gonna drag it here and get it. And I want to do drag from the pin. I want to do minus. So float minus by float. And then we could add here from this return value. I'm gonna clamp this with float. Minimum is, is going to be zero, and maximum we're going to get the max health in here. Actually, I can just drag it directly into this pin here. Boom. So it's going to add it automatically. Then we want to set our current health. So we're going to get it, and uh, not get it, but set it. And the damage we're going to take, or the health we're going to take, I'm just going to make this like a. Uh, we have 1000. I'm going to make this 66. I'm gonna select all of this. I'm gonna duplicate them out down here. So I'm gonna aim my cursor somewhere, somewhere in here, and press Control W. Boom! And then I'm gonna connect this with the right, like that. And the only thing we are gonna make different is this minus. We're gonna delete this, and we're gonna drag from the current health pin here. We're gonna do plus. So float plus float, and connect this with the value of the clamp. Now we are gonna add, I'm gonna add like, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna add six, uh, 33, just for fun. This is just for testing. Compile and save. And now I still have to do one more thing. Uh, we added, yes, we added. All right, so in the begin play, uh, I'm gonna get my, here, uh, begin play. We need to create a widget here. So create a widget. I'm gonna show my health. So basically it's not, the health, I mean, it can be its own uh, widget if you want, but main, this could be also, it's, it could be just, you know, created inside your player heart even. Like the main heart, the main widget, but doesn't matter. Um, click here, and I'm gonna add to the pod. Go. Compile, burn, save, and we can close this. Now, we get to the health uh, widget itself. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna add here one progress bar. Boom, I'm just gonna make it, I don't know, uh, below down in here, don't know why. Feels like it's right there. Size, eh, that's size 533, and I'm gonna make it 800. 800 units white, all right. Uh, put this away, I'm gonna make minus 170, so it's exact numbers here. <laughs> All right, I think this is good. Now, uh, I'm gonna go in style and I just gonna make this background image, the tint is black, so it, I can see it better. Uh, I don't care about the fill image. We only, I only care for the fill color and opacity. I'm gonna make this white. Boom, because we don't, it doesn't matter. It can't be, I mean, just, just, doesn't really matter what uh, yeah, color you're gonna use because it's we are gonna re it's it's gonna be replaced with the curve we just create uh, created earlier. So now that we have this, yeah, 
Uh, I'm gonna go to craft now. So, normally you would maybe do like a binding to this person here, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna use interpolation and it doesn't exactly work here, or I, at least I haven't gotten it to work. When I have binded it, bound it to this uh, person here, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in here after the tick. Just use event tick as little as possible. That's my hint. Uh, but for this, it doesn't matter really. So what I want to do is right click here. I want to get player character, and I want to cast to my uh, third person character here. Um, right click um, corner to peer cast. Alright. I mean, if you wanna be sure, I mean, like, uh, this is peer cast. This is like if you know it will work, then you can use it. But like, if you don't know exactly, uh, it's just be it's just let's say if you have third person character, for example, but it's not in the game. I mean, kind of if it, if it doesn't exist in the game or the map or level whatsoever. It's gonna automatically cast failed, but I don't I don't know that that's that's not relevant here. So I'm gonna do peer cast because I know it's gonna work. From here, uh, I'm gonna get current health, and also I'm gonna get from the person third person character. I want to get the max health as well. And what I wanna do then is. Track from the current health here, and I'm gonna do divide float by float. So I'm I'm gonna divide the current health with the max health, and that way we get the value of zero to one, meaning one equals to full health and zero equals to no health at all. So I'm gonna get the progress bar here. Uh, we want to get a percent. And also what I want to do is drag out from this progress bar and I want set percent. And this we can connect with the tick. And in percent, we need to drag out and uh, interp. So we can use interp two. Could work. Could work. Uh, now that this the percent we got we did get from the brokers part. This is our current one. And this is what we exactly right now have. And this device, uh, this um, division, division, division from the you know, credit health from max health. This is gonna be the target. And delta time, uh, you can either connect this to the in delta time in event sick, or you can just search for get world delta seconds. So this also does the same thing basically. Um, then in step speed, I'm gonna make this like a, I don't know. Let's try ten. Boom, compliance safe. Um, we can try and see if this works. I'm not entirely sure, but we can like you know try and see. So I'm gonna do a new window here. I'm gonna press my left as it go. Oh. Obvious, of course, yeah, there is already key binding for left and right. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I'm gonna open my third person character and turn rate. This I'm gonna disconnect. Yeah, this. You can disconnect by pressing Alt and then clicking this execution pin. Compliance safe. Now, let's try again. All right, so now as you can see, yeah, we are losing. And it's, it's going smoothly. But this is if you want to use this. If you don't want to use this, then you can just... You don't have to do this anymore. Then then all you can do is just, you know, get these guys. Basically these guys. I'm just going to quickly show you. So I'm going to copy this. Alright, so we're going to get these guys. Then we go into progress ball and bind the person. Boom. Just place this here and do like this and it's done. That's why. That's that's why we don't need. We don't. We will not get this smooth transition. But I'm gonna use that. Now back to here. All right. So now we are gonna do this. The last part. The in actual smooth color changing. So what we need to do is we need to create new variable here. I'm gonna call this health color curve. 
And variable type is going to be curve, and it's exactly going to be curve linear color. Compile. And then we can get access to the default value here. And we want to get here the uh, health colors. Now, uh, it's going to be almost the same as these guys. Not quite, but almost the same as this one. Uh, we are going to actually duplicate this. This We are going to need this. So I'm going to just select this here. Right click. Uh, I'm going to just copy this. And I'm going to paste it here. There we go. Now I'm going to get... Um, the progress bar, I want to get color, so we are going to get fill color and opacity, and also from the progress bar, we want to set fill color and opacity. Uh, we can connect this after the set percent here, like this. And in color, we are going to drag out and do also interp, so interpolate linear color. Uh, yet again, the current one is going to be this get fill capacity that, that we get from this progress bar. So that's going to be our current one. And the target is going to be, we, we're going to need to do something here first. Uh, delta time, I'm going to duplicate this get for delta seconds. Boom. And then the speed is going to be the same as the second, the first one. So 10. Exactly. Now, for the target. Um, we have to get the health curve from our variable, so we're gonna get it. Uh, yeah, it's just called down control and release. Boom, there we go. And we need to get, I think it was get linear color value. Yes, it is, it's that one. So get linear color variable value. And this division here, division, division, I don't know how to pronounce it. This is our in time. And then the richer value is going to be the target color. All right. It should be easy. Ah, simple and easy. Now, component save. And I can now, I'm going to open this, this up just in case. Um, so now let's test out. Play. And as you can see, I'm losing health. And now it starts to change the color. And this is like smooth as... That is really smooth. And as you can just basically add here any colors you want, like in middle here, I'm gonna add white. And as you can see, it's 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 gonna go it's gonna be in white. I mean it really depends on how much health you have, basically. But like yeah, that's pretty much I think this is way more useful than the previous one, and this should actually clear things up. So this is such something. Just remember, the zero is uh, the on the top line, basically in horizontal line. Zero is like zero health, and one is like one hundred percent health. Yeah, and you can just add as many colors as you want and save. I hope this actually clears things up now. I hope you answered this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again.